shaking ground, recent earthquakes in Ethiopia. Ethiopia has experienced many earthquakes recently. These earthquakes were in the Afar and Aromia regions. People felt the ground shake. Some buildings were damaged. These earthquakes are worrying. They remind us that Ethiopia is prone to natural disasters. We need to understand these events. We need to learn how to stay safe. The Afar region is a particularly active area. It sits on the East African Rift. This is where three tectonic plates are slowly moving apart. The recent earthquakes are a reminder that the Earth is constantly changing. We need to be prepared for these changes. The Ring of Fire is well known for its volcanic activity, but did you know that the East African Rift is also a hotspot for volcanoes? The East African Rift is home to numerous volcanoes, each with its own unique characteristics. The East African Rift is a place of incredible geological activity, where tectonic plates are constantly shifting. It's a place where the Earth's crust is being pulled apart, creating dramatic landscapes and geological features. This tectonic activity creates a line of volcanoes that stretches across the region. Some of these volcanoes are active, constantly emitting smoke and ash. This means they can erupt at any time, posing significant dangers to nearby communities. Eruptions can send hot ash, gas and lava flowing down the sides of the volcano, causing widespread destruction. Other volcanoes are dormant. Dormant volcanoes are considered to be sleeping because they haven't erupted for a long time. These volcanoes are often covered in vegetation, blending into the landscape, but they could erupt again in the future as geological activity continues. Recent earthquakes in Ethiopia have raised concerns about potential volcanic eruptions. Could these earthquakes trigger a volcanic eruption? It's a question that scientists are actively investigating. It's something scientists are watching closely as they monitor the region for any signs of increased activity. When the Earth's plates collide, earthquakes and volcanoes explained. The dynamic nature of our planet is both fascinating and powerful. The Earth's surface is made up of tectonic plates. These massive slabs of rock fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, covering the entire planet. These plates are always moving, very slowly. Over millions of years, their movements shape the continents and ocean floors. Sometimes they push against each other. Sometimes they move apart. This constant motion is driven by forces deep within the Earth. When these plates move, it can cause earthquakes. The movement releases energy. This energy travels through the ground, shaking everything in its path. We feel this energy as shaking. The intensity of this shaking can vary, causing minor tremors or devastating quakes. Volcanoes are often found where tectonic plates meet. These fiery mountains are formed by the movement of molten rock. Magma is molten rock below the Earth's surface. It is created by the intense heat and pressure found deep within the Earth. When pressure builds up, it can erupt through openings in the Earth's crust. This process can be both spectacular and destructive. This is a volcanic eruption. The force of the eruption can send ash and gases high into the atmosphere. The East African Rift is a place where tectonic plates are moving apart. This rift is a prime example of the Earth's dynamic nature. This movement creates space for magma to rise up from below. As the plates separate, magma finds its way to the surface. This is why there are so many volcanoes in the region. The East African Rift is a testament to the ever-changing nature of our planet. Staying safe. Preparing for natural disasters in Ethiopia. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions can be scary. These natural disasters can strike without warning, causing widespread damage and panic. But there are things we can do to stay safe. Preparing an emergency kit with essential supplies and practicing emergency drills can make a big difference. We need to be prepared. This involves planning and discussing emergency protocols with family and community members. This means having a plan for what to do during an earthquake or eruption. Knowing evacuation routes and safe spots can save lives. We should know where to go and how to contact our families. Communication is key during emergencies. Buildings can be made stronger. Reinforcing structures and ensuring they meet safety standards can prevent collapse. This can help them withstand earthquakes. Using earthquake-resistant designs and construction techniques is crucial. Early warning systems can also be put in place. These systems can detect seismic activity and provide alerts. These systems can give people time to evacuate before an eruption. 
Practicing evacuation drills ensures everyone knows what to do. Ethiopia is a country of great beauty and resilience. Its people are strong and resourceful, capable of facing challenges. By understanding the risks of earthquakes and volcanoes, and by taking steps to prepare, we can help keep ourselves and our community safe.